Thank you. And now to San Marco, where businesses have fallen victim to a smash and grab. $2,000 worth of damage, and it all happened around 5.30 this morning. Juicebox owner Hassan Kabak tells us that thieves used a brick to break into his shop and steal his cash register. He's now calling for better protection for small businesses in the area. The garden and the glass outside is uh, very destructive because they try to get in through this door, this window, but they couldn't. So they throw a brick at this door right here. Now he says although this is a terrible way to start the day, this will not stop him from doing business here. And people living in a south side apartment complex are dealing with the headache of cleaning up and fixing their car windows after a string of break ins this week. More than a dozen cars were broken into at the city gate apartments off gate parkway. Cars were also hit at another complex right next door. Our Riley Phillips is joining us live now with more on those break ins and how you can prevent yourself from being a target. Yes, the break-ins happened here early Wednesday morning at CityGate Apartments, and then JSO was back out here early this morning looking for the suspect. Police do not have any more information right now, but they do say historically there is an increase in these types of break-ins during the summer months. Having the gate open probably doesn't help any damage or break-ins that have occurred. More than a dozen cars with broken windows Thursday as residents hurry to get them fixed. JSO does not have any suspect information right now, but according to their crime mapping data, this is one of 70 reports of car break-ins within the last week. Christian Hancock, JSO's public information officer, says overall vehicle break-ins are down in Jacksonville year to date, but they usually see an uptick over the summer. Of the crime in general, burglaries to autos pick up different times of the year. Summer months, yes, they typically do. Why is that? Because children get out of school, they've got a little more time on their hands seemingly. People living in these city gate apartments tell me they generally feel safe and they have not experienced something like this before. Hancock says these large apartment complexes can be easy targets for thieves. There's a lot of opportunity in an apartment complex, right? If you're walking through a subdivision with homes, you know, your, your possible victims are 100, 150 feet from each other. In an apartment complex, they're parked right next to each other. So does that draw the average suspect looking to break into cars? Absolutely. While JSO continues to investigate this latest round of vehicle break-ins, they encourage everyone, no matter where you live, to take everything out of your car, even if it's not valuable. Take the things out that are important, that look important, that someone would think is valuable, and then you don't have that. They're not going to break a window just for the sake of breaking a window. They're going to see something in there that prompts that destruction of your vehicle. And something else people living here brought up to me is the gate. They say the gate is not always closed at night, and they believe that could have contributed to the thefts. I asked employees here at the front office about it. They directed all my questions to upper management, and I have not heard back yet. Live on the south side, Riley Phillips, First Coast News on your